This is gallium, a uh, group three metal that's uh, rather unique to look at. Let's have a look at some of its properties. So this is gallium, a silver metal, seems to be solid at room temperature, often described similar to mercury. Mercury is a very heavy metal and this one is famous for the fact that something like a, a ball bearing here can float in the mercury. Not quite the same for gallium. This gallium has been heated up very slightly and has formed a liquid. And this is just above room temperature. This gallium then in group three of the periodic table in the same group as boron and aluminium as gallium. So let's have a look at this gallium, see what it's like. Well, it sort of sticks a bit to the glass. It's got a sort of thing on the surface, floating on the surface. It can make my finger go a little bit black. It's not toxic, unlike the mercury. And this feels dry to the touch. It doesn't feel wet. You can feel it move, you can feel it do things, but it actually feels quite different to water. It has all the sort of wave effects and other things that you'd expect to see with a liquid. It forms what we call a positive meniscus. Instead of water spreading out and going down in the middle, then the gallium makes this closer join with the water and then bulges out. So positive meniscus. If I take a piece of gallium and I leave this in my hand then it's very likely to melt and this is an experiment which is fairly safe to do because gallium is relatively inert. It doesn't react an awful lot. Let's see what we can do with this gallium. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour it over another Petri dish into a little beaker. It doesn't want to pour and then suddenly it does and it now not wanting to pour And we've got some gallium here still stuck to the surface. This is really because it's trying to sort of freeze at the moment because this is just slightly above room temperature and the gallium in there is slightly sort of just slightly warmer. So there we've got a beaker of gallium, not a large beaker. With the mercury, the ball bearing will float in the mercury. If I take a ball bearing here, then do you think it's going to float or sink? It is in the periodic table just after iron, iron, cobalt, nickel, copper, zinc, gallium. But if we put this in, I'm sorry to say it sinks to the bottom. So it's quite an interesting liquid to have a look at. Odd that it feels so heavy but then it's a metal and we can see it pouring. And there's the ball bearing at the bottom. 
and it is sticking to the glass. So I've got my gallium there, an interesting metal. If I put a piece of solid gallium in here and it's warm enough then it should just start to melt. This is on the verge of just solidifying. It's just a little bit too cold. I need to perhaps warm the gallium up a little bit more to try and get it to melt. That's because in the house here it's about 25 centigrade and this needs 29 centigrade so we are looking at the gallium freezing. So there we are, there's gallium. Group 3 metal, it's silver, shiny, acts it all weighs like a metal except it's got a fairly low melting point which makes it useful in things like thermometers as long as they don't go below about 30 degrees centigrade. Gallium.